For another Halloween look this year, I'm showing you how I created this spider liner eye look. So I've already done my base, and now I'm just applying some extra powder underneath my eyes. So when I get some fallout, I can just dust it away. I'm taking my Huda Beauty Warm Brown Sessions palette, and I'm taking this shade here, and I'm blending it in my crease as my transition shade. It's a very warm orange type of shade. Next I'm picking up this middle warm orange shade and I'm applying that just above just so there's a deep orange to a lighter orange transition. The third shade I'm going to use is this deep purple brown. It's my favorite shade from the palette and I'm packing that on my lid with a flat brush. I'm not taking it any higher than my crease. And you know to go with the whole spiderweb liner look, you could actually do no shadows and then just do the liner, which would probably look better. But I was trying to do something more creative. And then I'm just packing the rest of it on with my finger. And then I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and I'm just going to blend out the edges. Now I'm dusting away the fallout from underneath my eyes and that powder really saves the day if you're doing your face first and then your eyes. The liner I'm going to use is this pen liner by Eye Magic. It says it's waterproof and I've used this liner many times and it is my favorite liner. So I'm just creating a simple line above the top of my eyelid. I'm not gonna go too thick and then I'm just going to add a wing as well. It doesn't matter how your eyeliner turns out because we're going to extend it and draw all over it anyway. Now I'm taking my Maybelline gel liner and I'm going to use that in my waterline and I'm creating a point in my inner corner. So then I'm starting with the orange and then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm going to really smudge out that gel liner using the deep brown purple shade that I used on my lid. And then I'm applying some bottom mascara and I'm starting with my wing. So I'm going to extend the wing that I've drawn. And now I'm just drawing lines going from my brow to my liner. And you want to keep it thick at the base and kind of thin at the edges. So in total there's five lines extending from the brow to the liner and they vary in lengths. You can pretty much see what I'm doing. They don't have to be straight, I'm actually doing them kind of curved. It really depends on how you want them to look. 
So this is my first time attempting to do any type of creative look with liner other than eyeliner and it is quite tricky. But I have to say because I was really focusing and my pen was really tilted backwards it was running out of ink quite often so I had to shake it up quite a few times. Other than that I'd say this look is pretty easy and you do want to use a type of pen to do this. You don't want to use gel liner to try and do this. You want something that can create very thin lines and very thick lines when you need it. So as you can see the pen is running out of ink because I've had it tilted backwards for an extended amount of time. So just shake it up, give it a second and then work with it. Now you're going to see me clear up some of my mistakes. If you make any mistakes it's quite easy to erase it. All you need to do is just use a cotton bud and some micellar water or even a wipe and just clear it up. You might need to retouch your eyeshadow. And now I'm just going along and applying these little dots. And then I'm going to go underneath that and apply the next layer of the webs. So you just want a slightly curved line and I'm keeping it above my crease. You don't want to go too low down on your crease because when you open your eyes you won't see the second layer of the webs. So keep that above your crease if you can. and then I'm just adding those connecting dots in between. For the lower part of the web, I'm just creating this kind of V shape, as you can see. The bottom part is so much easier than the top part. And then I'm just connecting that to where my pupil starts, just a line straight up. We're not gonna go all the way in to the inner corner on the lower lash line, it's just on the outer corner. And then I'm drawing a line and I'm connecting the bottom part and then I'm adding those little web inner parts as you can see so it's basically two V's and some lines and then I'm just going to extend the edges to make it more tapered to make the edges more pointy and then I'm going to add those little dots so I just went off camera and I did my other eye and I applied mascara and I added liner in my waterline now I'm using my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I'm using that to bronze up my face, around my cheeks, my forehead and my nose. And then I'm using my Becca highlighter in Pearl. I like this highlighter because it's a very frosty cool toned type of highlighter and then I'm applying my liquid lipstick by Lime Crime in cement. I like this because it's a kind of contrasting warm cool look. There are many ways you could have done this look. If I was to do this again I could probably do like a glossy lid with no eyeshadow and then the web and then I'm just applying some of the highlighter on my lips to add that kind of shimmery effect that webs might have. And that is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because I am terrified of spiders. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.